<laughs> like I actually believe you would stare at our hair. Okay. I have to go for the page. I'm sorry. Fine. <laughs> oh yeah. Get <laughs> sad, 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 sad. Pain, horrible death. You can press play now. You're pretty play. Yeah. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Kobe, I wanted to give you my condolences on the death of your son, Danny. I know it's been eight months since the accident, but I'm sure it's still probably hard for you to be reminded of that day. I think about what happened a lot, as I'm sure you do too. I know no matter how hard this has been on me, I can never understand the depths of your loss. I wish I had driven down a different block that day. I'm sure you do too. Sincerely, Jason White. It's part of life when bad things happen. Everyone goes through pain at some point in their life. Sometimes life is happy. Until snap. Something happens. <laughs> Hungry. Depression, sadness. Death. Rabbit hole by David Lindsay Bear. I hate no one. <laughs> <laughs> no, you suck. You came out smiling. <laughs> Mom's thrilled, by the way. She called? Izzy must have told her I knew. And how was that? What? Two hours on the phone with Mom? You think this means Izzy wants baby stuff? For her birthday? Maternity clothes or something? Uh, no, just get her whatever you're gonna get her. Good, because I was gonna get her a bathroom set. A, a what? Bathroom set. Shower curtain, bath mat, a little skirt for the sink. They sell them in sets. This is for Izzy's birthday? The last time I was over there, she had seen the place. It looked like a frat boy decorated it. Huh? What? It just seems like a funny gift. A, a bath mat? It's a good gift, but I like if somebody gave it to me. Oh, well, I'll make a note of that for Christmas. You think it's dumb. No, get her the sink skirt set thingy, whatever. Bathroom set. Get her that if you think she'll like it. I'm gonna. Great, she'll love it. You should have said that to begin with. Yeah, I know. Now. She has no idea, by the way. Izzy, no idea about what she's getting into. I know. Do you remember how exhausted we were? The feedings at all hours, the sleep deprivation? Do you think Izzy's really ready for that? The utter torture of it all? Enough about Izzy. Where are you going? I think we should sell the house. Come on, Becca. What? I've been thinking about it for a while now, and I think it'll help. He's everywhere, Howie. Everywhere I look, I still see Danny. Uh, we love this house. I can't even move without, I mean, Jesus, look at this, right here. Runaway bunny, for God's sakes. The, the puzzles, the smudgy fingerprints on door jams. I like seeing his fingerprints. Because you don't have to sit and stare at them day in and day out. You get to escape, you gotta go to work. <laughs> well, if you wanna go back to work, Becca. No, that's not who I am anymore. I left that to be a mom. Okay. What is this? Becca! What? What did you do here? What's the matter? What is this? What's what? The television? What is this? It's the Discovery Channel. The Tornado Program? You said you want to watch it. I recorded it for you. Why? It's Danny's tape. You recorded over Danny's tape. Why didn't you take it out of the machine? Why didn't you check to see what was in there? I assumed it was a TV tape. <sighs> Jesus, Becca. It was one of his baby videos. No, it was the most recent, the long one. The park was on it, and Mexico. How was I supposed to know you snuck At down? Christmas. I thought it was a TV it tape. It wasn't. I know, Howie. So it's gone, the whole thing. I'm sorry. It's the only copy, Becca. Well, I didn't do it on purpose. Are you sure? What is that supposed to mean? You'll think I record over Danny's tape on purpose. I, I don't know. You don't know? I, I should have taken it out. Why would I deliberately record I over it? I don't know. Why would I? I don't know. You took the paintings off the fridge. Danny's paint. To save them, I put them in plastic. <laughs> and shoved them in a box. For safekeeping. Okay. I didn't throw the paintings out, you know. I know you didn't. And you think I didn't want the tape? I don't. Of course you did. Obviously, it wasn't on purpose, but maybe. What? Subconsciously. Subconsciously? I, Is this what they're telling your group? How I'm doing things subconsciously. You're trying to get rid of him. I'm sorry, but that's how it feels to me sometimes. Every day it's something else. It feels like you're trying to get rid of any evidence he was ever here. I didn't know the tape was in there. I'm not talking about the tape. Not just the tape. 
And the paintings are in the box downstairs. You can look at them whenever you want. Uh, the clothes, the shoes. We don't need that stuff. Why would we You're wanting keep... to sell the house. We already talked about that. Oh, Taz, sending Taz to your mother's? There was a lot going on, Howie. We couldn't deal with a dog. If I was fine with the dog. I was the one walking him. Well, he got underfoot. And he was a reminder. Yes, he was a reminder. So what? I wanted one less reminder around here. That's perfectly normal. Oh, and since you never wanted the dog to Oh, for him, God's sake. Well, if I hadn't bought the dog. If I hadn't run inside to get the phone, or if I latched the I gate. I let the gate unlock. Well, I didn't check. I'm not playing this game again, Howie. It's no one's fault. Not even the dogs. I know that. Dogs chase squirrels and boys chase dogs. Are you telling me or yourself? He loved that dog. Of course he did. And you got rid of him. Right? Like I got rid of the tapes, I get it. It's not just the tape. I'm not talking about the tape, Becca. It's Taz and the paintings and the clothes and it's everything. You have to stop erasing him. You have to stop. You have to stop. Do you really not know me, Howie? Do you really not know how utterly impossible that would be to erase him? No matter how many things I give with a charity or how many art projects I box up, do you really not think I don't see him every second of every day? The tape was an accident, and believe me, I'll beat myself up for it forever. Just like everything else I could have invented but didn't. That's not what I want, Beck. That's not what I'm talking about. No, because it feels like it is. It feels like I don't feel bad enough for you. Oh. I'm not mourning enough for your taste. Come on, that Or, or I'm mourning in the right way. But let me just say this, Howie. I'm mourning just as much as you are, and my grief and my pain just as real and just as awful as yours. I know that. You're not in a better place than I am. You're just in a different place. And it sucks that uh, we can't be there for each other right now, but that's just the way it is. This stuff is all we have left. That's all I'm saying. And every bit of it you get rid of? I understand, Howie. You don't want to let go. I understand. Do you? Do you? This isn't... Something has to change here because I can't do this. <laughs> like this. It's too hard. It's too hard. And I want the dog back. Your mother's making him fat. Why don't we wait until... I don't want to. How much more do we have to lose? I miss the dog, I'm sorry, but I miss him. I want him back. I want him back. Okay, Danny, thank 